Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. And if you are new to the channel, I would love to have you subscribe and make sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you guys will get notified whenever I post new videos. I do post new videos every single week. And also don't forget to check out my Instagram and TikTok, which will be linked down below. Today's video, I'm doing another haul video, but we're gonna be switching things up a little bit. And this is actually my first perfume haul. I'm pretty sure this is my first one. I'm always a little nervous talking about perfumes just because I'm not a perfume expert myself. Like I'm still learning, but this is pretty much just like my first impressions. I'm just gonna go over my opinions on them so far, just from like testing them out since I haven't really had a chance to wear any of these, and then go over the notes with you guys and whatnot. But all of these are very affordable perfumes. I love finding affordable perfumes. Like I have a lot in my collection, but a lot of them are like celebrity fragrances or like Zara fragrances, Ariana Grande, because I do love sweet scents. So I have a mixture of like some fresh, I have a little bit of florals, but mostly sweet perfumes. And all of these are under $50. I think most of them are under $30 with the exception of one, but I still wanted to include it in this video. So we have a nice little range of different stuff going on here. So let's go ahead and get into it. I do have four perfumes from Gourmand Beauty. I've loved this brand for years. It's been one of my favorites. Like even before I got into perfume, I always went back to these and purchased them because they are so affordable. You can find them online, but I was always getting them from Urban Outfitters. And now more recently, over the past like few months or so, I've been seeing them a lot at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, which is great because they are a bit more discounted there. So the two that I have here are actually online exclusives. They were part of a Valentine's Day collection, but you can still find them online now. There were a collection of three. I only got two and I'm kind of regretting not getting the third one because I do really want to try it. It was more of a cherry scent and I kind of heard it was like a cherry popsicle, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I did pick out the other two. So let's go ahead and start out with this first one here. This first one is called Le Bubble Pop and it's this beautiful like baby pink color. Color. It just reminded me of bubble gum and I think that's kind of what it was going for based off the notes So this has a sugary notes of bergamot lily of the valley a bubble yum accord and whipped cream Whenever I first sprayed this on my skin, it smelled exactly like bubble gum. It was super sweet It almost kind of reminded me of the bubble gum I ate as a kid like the one that was in the tape I can't remember what it was called I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that one or there was this other one It was like shredded bubble gum in a packet and It was almost kind of like dusted in like powdered sugar and that's kind of what this reminds me of like I don't know if it's like a powdered sugar note But there definitely is some like slight powderiness to this one, but overall it's still a very sweet scent It literally smells like bubble gum to me I feel like more so in the dry down that lily of the valley note comes out a bit more It does make it a little bit more floral. I would say this is more of a sweet like very airy scent It's like very light in the sense of like cotton candy or sponge sugar I think this would be perfect to wear during the spring or summertime and it's almost Almost a little bit creamy as well, which I do really enjoy. When I first got this, I was really curious to see if it was going to compare to Armani My Way perfume because that one is one of my favorites. And I actually do have it here to compare it to. I just have it in the little travel spray. I've already gone through like half of this and I do have another one also. My Way to me smells like bubble gum. It's one of my favorite like light sweet scents. I was using this one a lot during the summertime. Since spraying the two and smelling them side by side, I wouldn't say they're dupes, but they do have a lot of similarities because they both do smell like bubble gum. They have a little bit of like that floral note mixed in there. My Way has a beautiful tuberose note, which I think that's where the bubble gum note is kind of coming from. It's a super sweet floral. My Way I still feel is like a stronger, sweeter scent compared to Le Bubble Pop, but I think this is a really good like cheaper alternative. Or if you like something like My Way, I feel like odds are you would enjoy this one. The second one I picked up from this collection is Bon Bon Bonnet, I believe. It's more of a banana scent. This has notes of banana leaf, coconut, and sandalwood. I do like coconut scents. I love sandalwood, but I wasn't really familiar with the banana leaf note. It is more of like a fresh and green note. Since reading that, I think what I'm smelling the most would be the banana leaf because it definitely has this more like fresh scent to it than sweet. For some reason, I was expecting this one to be a lot more of like a tropical, like fruity banana scent, but overall it's very fresh. It almost has like a little bit of like muskiness mixed in there, maybe coming from the coconut. I don't get a lot of coconut whenever I first spray it. I feel like that comes out more so in the dry down like the coconut and the sandalwood but to me this really isn't a very fruity scent I would have liked it to be a little bit more sweet I don't dislike it but it's throwing me off a little bit because it wasn't really 
what I was expecting from this one. I can probably end up layering this with the Tropical Collection from Bath & Body Works. I'm thinking of maybe layering it with Belize. That one came out last year. And that one has this nice like banana note mixed in there. Or maybe even something like Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I feel like this is going to be one of those perfumes that I have to layer with something else just to kind of make it into what I was hoping this would be because I would have liked it to be a little bit more sweet and fruity. But if you don't like those sweet fruity scents and you prefer something more like fresh, a little bit more like a green scent mixed in there with some sandalwood, then I think you would enjoy this one. The other two I picked up, I found these in stores and this first one I actually found at TJ Maxx for $13 and this is the scent Rose Chocolate and since purchasing it and actually wearing it, I really, really regret not getting another bottle of this one. Like, I should have grabbed it because I haven't been able to find it in stores lately. I'm not 100% sure on the notes on this one. Actually, I'm going to try looking it up to see because I believe this is an older scent. That's probably why it was at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Unfortunately, I cannot find anything online about the scent notes. I don't know if you can tell by the color, but it's like this milky pink color. And I feel like this really represents on how this smells. It definitely has this like milky creaminess to it, but overall it's a very sweet scent. It's really not heavy on the florals like I thought it was at first, but I'm also not sure if I'm really necessarily getting like a chocolatey scent from it. It definitely is on the sweeter side, maybe more of like a milk chocolate, but Whatever is in this, it does smell really good. If you are into more like the sweet creamy scents, definitely keep your eyes out for this one in stores and grab it while you can. I definitely recommend picking it up. And the last one that I picked up also in stores, this one I actually found at Marshalls. It was also for $12.99. This is a Creme Vanille. This one you can actually still find online and probably in Urban Outfitters as well. This is more of a gourmand scent. It has edible notes of creamy apricot, jasmine petals, brown sugar and amber. As far as this being a vanilla scent, I'm actually not really getting a lot of the vanilla in this perfume. I'm getting a lot of the creamy apricot. It's almost kind of reminding me of like an ice cream for some reason. Like it's a very light sweet scent, a very soft vanilla if anything. I am getting hints of the jasmine as well. So I would say this is more of like a fruity kind of floral scent, but the floral notes in here are very soft. Like it's nothing too strong. I was just hoping just based off the name to get more of a vanilla scent. I do think it's a very pretty scent a very like girly everyday like daytime scent but one thing I did notice just from testing it out here on my hand is it kind of faded very quickly so I don't see this being a very long lasting scent but I still think it smells really good I love the creamy apricot note in there I think this is perfect for spring the next perfume I have the packaging is actually very similar to the gourmand perfume this one I actually purchased from anthropology I was in there a while back just kind of sniffing around fragrances but I had heard someone talk about this on TikTok I wish I still had that TikTok. If I can find it, I will have it linked down below. But in the video, she was upgrading Bath & Body Works scent. And basically what she said is, if you love strawberry pound cake, this would be like the more grown up version of that. So I really wasn't familiar with this brand at all. I believe it's just called the Nostalgia. And I guess the idea behind the brand is they kind of replicate moments of growing up. They do have a lot of other perfumes. I know there was one called I Do. It's more of a floral scent, but I know a lot of people use it for their weddings or for like special occasions kind of leading up to their wedding. I haven't tried that one, but this one in Slow Dance says, it's inspired by shopping for your first high school dance. And it has notes of sweet strawberries, lychee, is it lychee or lychee? And caramel to take you back to slow dancing with that special someone. And this is more of a fresh scent. So really before even knowing the notes, whenever she said it's more like the grown up version of strawberry pancake, I just knew I had to try it out for myself because I am a fan of strawberry pound cake, but it is a very, very sweet scent. So I kind of have to be in the mood for something like really sweet to wear that one or else it can just be a little bit much. As far as it being compared to strawberry pound cake, I don't know if I would necessarily put those two together other than like the strawberry note in there. Like it's not nearly as sweet as something like strawberry pound cake. This one is a lot more fresh. It almost has like some type of green note mixed in there. And for some reason, I'm getting more of like a strawberry leaf note than I would just like a sweet strawberry, which really I'm not even familiar with the strawberry leaf note, so I really don't know where that's coming from. That's just kind of what came to mind. It is a little bit more green and tart and like almost a little bit zesty from whenever I sprayed it on my skin. I want to spray this on my skin again because I really didn't get much of the caramel notes in there. Yeah, on first initial spray, it is super fresh. It's not a very sweet strawberry scent at all. I don't know if it's some type of citrus note maybe. I'm not sure exactly what I'm getting there. But that's kind of what made me think of more of a strawberry leaf note than just like a regular sweet strawberry scent. As far as with layering, I think I would end up pairing this with something very fresh, 
sweet and fruity rather than something gourmand like strawberry pound cake. I don't know, maybe they could work together. I don't know, maybe this is more like the grown up version because it is like a lot more fresh and less sweet. I do have a couple more perfumes that I purchased from Marshalls. This was for $17, which is kind of pricey for a Marshalls perfume, especially for these. They're just kind of like sitting there on the shelves like without a box or anything like that. Usually a lot of the times these are like sprayed so much because people are just like testing them in stores. But whenever I first got it, it really didn't look like it had been messed with very much and there was just something about this one that I just knew I had to try for myself. It was like the bottle. I love the square packaging. Very like simple, minimal packaging, but there was just something about it that I really like. I don't even know the brand name of this one. It's just called Pure Powder for Women. And I really couldn't even find much on this online. So I decided to buy it. That way I can try it out for myself. And I've been really into like powdery and fresh scents lately. So I was kind of hoping I could probably mix and match this one with a lot of the other scents I purchased recently. I did just test this out on my skin like I've sprayed a little bit on my arm and it is a very very powdery scent so if you're not really into those like those like baby powder type of scents I don't think you would enjoy this one but there is something about this when it's on my skin that almost makes it a little bit sweet it's a little bit musky as well it's a very soft scent it's one of those ones that's gonna sit very close to the skin it's not gonna project a lot so I feel like you can probably end up wearing this to bed or wearing it to work or something like that because it's not very strong at all but I haven't actually worn this one out for the day like sprayed it all over I just test a little bit on my arm and it seemed to be more of like a soft scent. For me, I see this more as a layering perfume. So I'll probably end up layering this with other fragrances that are more powdery and musky. The next one I have is just this little tiny mini perfume. I'm guessing this is more of like a travel size, but I purchased it for around $9. I think it was at Marshall's, I'm pretty sure. Either Marshall's or TJ Maxx. This is a philosophy perfume and the scent is Falling in Love. I don't think I've ever really seen this one before, but whenever I was in store, I looked it up on Fragrantica. Like that's what I always do anytime I see a perfume I'm not familiar with or that just looks interesting to me I look it up online before purchasing and this was described as a fruity vanilla sweet scent and it has a berry note in there so it has notes of blackberry vanilla musk jasmine and lily of the valley whenever I sprayed this one it kind of smelled like mixed berries I almost got a mixture of like blackberries and raspberries for some reason or how like in the frozen like fruit section how you'll get that bag of just like mixed berries that's what this reminds me of it's almost a little bit tart but overall a very like sweet and fruity scent. The vanilla note in here is very soft, like it's a light vanilla scent. I haven't smelled them side by side, but this kind of feels like the perfume version of Black Raspberry Vanilla from Bath & Body Works. I'm not sure exactly how similar they are, but with that mixture of like mixed berries and almost like a raspberry note, in there with vanilla, it's kind of what it makes me think of. Or maybe you could probably end up layering them together. So I probably will try that. It just reminds me of spring and summer. It's definitely more of a sweet, fruity scent. I did pick up two new scents from CVS. That's why I decided to throw in the fragrance mist with this one because I purchased these together. And this purchase was definitely influenced by a post I saw on Instagram from Self Care with Lovely. I will put her Instagram photo here. But she always has some really good and interesting finds over on her page. So she shared this perfume. I had never even heard of this one before. But based off the notes, it definitely caught my attention. So this is called Carnival Day. I think it was around $20 at CVS. And at the time, whenever I purchased, they were having a $10 off coupon. So I got this for 10 bucks, which was really cool. It has a little description here. It says Carnival Rides, Caramel Corn, and Sweet Cotton Candy. Has notes of candied apple, sandalwood, lemon drop, and sugary musk. They had a few others. I think there was like one or two other ones that kind of caught my attention. But, you know, I do love my sweet scent. So I wanted to try this one first. And and this is what the bottle looks like here. It kind of looks like um, the La Labo perfumes. I don't even have one of those, but from what I've seen, it kind of looks similar to that. So I actually do like the packaging. It's very simple and it still has the scent notes listed here on the front. With spraying this, I don't know if it's because the way it mixes my body chemistry or what, but it definitely comes off a little bit more unisex on my skin. I'm getting a lot of the sandalwood, just a lot of like fresh, almost like spicy notes mixed in there. I don't know if I would consider this a gourmand scent. Scent, but there really is a mixture of all the scents. Like I do get some of the candied apple, a little bit of the lemon drop and sugary musk, but I think overall what I'm getting a lot of would be the sandalwood maybe, and more of like this citrus note coming from the lemon drop. I'm gonna actually spray this one again on my skin. I'm kind of running out of room here on my arm. So on first initial spray, it's a very like aromatic, like woody scent. I'm getting a lot of the sandalwood, and that's why it comes off a little bit more unisex on my skin, but I still get a mix of like the candy apple and the sugary musk. So I'm used to a lot of like heavy gourmand scents like with like caramel or 
vanilla. So this is a very different type of sweet scent than what I'm used to. And for some reason, I just can't decide if I like this one or not. I'm still gonna hold on to it just because I was able to get it for $10. And maybe I'll try layering it with other things. If anyone has tried this perfume, let me know what you think. Just because I'm feeling a lot of mixed emotions about this one. Like I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I'm kind of like right there in between. The other fragrance mist I got, this has been on my wish list on Amazon. Actually, I had no idea that they sold them at CVS, but the one I had on Amazon, I think it says In Style Fragrance. Like it's a different brand, but same exact look. So I'm pretty sure it's the same scent. And this is Marshmallow Cloud. They had a couple other fragrance mists. They had a Tahitian Vanilla, which I really wanted to try, but I wanted to just test out the brand first before like buying a bunch of different ones. And I do love me some marshmallow scents. So I had to try this one out and the cap, you really have to like pull it off. It's like stuck on there. But I haven't had a chance to wear this one either. I sprayed it a little bit on my skin whenever I first got it. And whenever I first sprayed it, it literally smells like a Rice Krispie tree, kind of like a marshmallow cereal. But I don't know if it's just me, but there is like a little bit of spice mixed in there, like a very like sweet spice. If you guys are familiar with Cupcake Swirl from Body Fantasies, that one had like a little bit of like a spice note mixed in there. And that's kind of what this one is giving to me, but more of like a marshmallow version of that. Not that those those two are like the same or anything. It just has that little bit of like spice note that I found in Cupcake Swirl. I do think it's a nice sweet marshmallowy scent and this was I think $10 or so. It was pretty affordable and CPS always has like different coupons and things so you can probably get this one for even cheaper. I do think this one is nice. I wouldn't say it's one of my top favorite marshmallow scents but I think it's really good and I think it'll be really good to layer with as well. So the next perfume I got, I haven't even taken it out yet. It's still in the nice pretty packaging. I ordered this one online from Victoria's Secret. This actually came in I think it was the day of that I filmed my last like Victoria's Secret haul video and I had been wanting this perfume because I missed out on it whenever it was in stores. I didn't realize it was going to be around for such a limited time. I knew it was a limited edition scent but it was literally gone within a month and this is Bombshell Celebration. So since this perfume has come out I've got the fragrance mist and also the lotion and I just been really really enjoying this scent. It's super bubbly which is not usually what I like in a fragrance but for some reason I just really enjoy this one and I really like layering it with Pure Wonder from Bath and Body Works. This has notes of Rosé Champagne, Snow Kiss Peony, and Winter Woods. And I forgot to mention, I actually got this on clearance. I got it for around $20, which is amazing because usually Victoria's Secret perfumes are a little bit pricey. Like I like Victoria's Secret perfumes, but they're like $60, $80 and I just... I don't know, for some reason I just can't justify that on a Victoria's Secret perfume. But for $20, I will pick it up. And the bottle is super pretty as well. It just looks so girly. I think this is the 1.7, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 1.7. So you might still be able to find it online or check your Victoria's Secret stores. I know Victoria's Secret stores around me at least had the fragrance mist and lotion still in stock. But you guys, I don't know what has changed because whenever I first sprayed it, I really wasn't crazy about this one. But since I got the fragrance mist and lotion, I've just really been enjoying it. To me, this is more of a fresh, kind of woody, champagne, floral scent. I wouldn't consider this like a sweet scent at all, but it still is like a very feminine scent. To me, this is like a very grown scent. You can wear this one every day, but you could also wear it out to like a dinner or like a date or something. Maybe probably even to brunch. I feel like this can work for many different occasions. Maybe it's because I've been loving it paired with Pure Wonder, and I love Pure Wonder. Like that is another one that really surprised me. I didn't think I would like that one as much as I do. I just love the combination of the two so I am very very happy to finally get my hands on it especially for the price like that made it even better. The last few perfumes I have are a little bit more on the expensive side but I just got the travel sprays so these are still under $50. That's still like pretty pricey to spend on like a travel spray. So these are two Killian perfumes. I don't have any Killian perfumes in my collection. The first one I want to talk about is Angel Share and I've heard about this perfume for such a long time. I think the full size bottle is gorgeous so I would love to have that one in my collection, but I did want to try out this one first. I do have a dupe of this one. I got one from Oil Perfumery, so they dupe more like luxury high-end perfumes. I kind of already knew I liked this one because I do like that perfume oil. This is kind of different than the scents I usually go for. It's a lot deeper, more like a spicy scent, but it also smells like very sweet, and it literally smells like cinnamon rolls to me. It has notes like cognac, which I don't think I have any fragrances with the cognac note. Cinnamon, tonka bean, praline, vanilla, and sandalwood and all those combined kind of create this like more like boozy 
cinnamon like almost like cinnamon roll scent a very like grown sweet scent like this to me just smells rich like this would be one that you would wear on a date night like it's really gonna impress someone you're definitely gonna get compliments with this one because it is a very strong scent as well you're not gonna want to overspray with this one whenever I tested it on my wrist it literally lasted for hours on my skin which is good because it is a expensive perfume but just think of like a cinnamon roll scent but more grown like it's a lot more elevated it's a little bit spicy because of the cinnamon note in there but this just smells so good so i will be holding on to this little bottle until i can get myself a full size of this one but if you are looking for more of a affordable option i will have the link to the oil perfumery one that I do have. I also picked up Love Don't Be Shy. This one I hear everyone talk about and I actually do have a dupe of this one also from Okja, which I think Okja and Oil Perfumery are like the same brand. I'm not sure exactly, but they both dupe like luxury high-end perfumes. So I had always heard a lot about this perfume, but I've actually never tried it for myself. It's known for being Rihanna's signature scent. I'm not even sure if that's true or not, but that's what everyone says. I do love me some Rihanna and I love marshmallow scent. Overall, this is a very sweet scent. I do think it smells like marshmallows, but I get a lot of the orange blossom. I actually did end up wearing this one the other day and I paired it with Petal High from Victoria's Secret. I reviewed this whole collection like not too long ago so in case you guys missed that I will have it linked up here and also down in the description box for you to check out. Petal High was definitely my favorite out of this collection and it also has a marshmallow flower note and also an orange blossom so these two I think pair really well together. I can definitely see myself wearing this combo throughout spring. It's just a very sweet marshmallowy scent. I do really like this one as well. I would love to have it in a full-size bottle also but I don't know. We will see because they are pricey but I did order my travel sprays from Sephora. I think they were either like $40 or $45 each. And the last perfume I have to talk about is actually a gift that I got for a Valentine's Day. I had told my boyfriend I had really, really wanted to find this perfume. And because it is discontinued, it's much harder to find. But somehow he found it on eBay and he got me the full-size bottle, which I am so, so happy about. This is the Kinzo Flower Elixir, I believe. And I heard about this one because I had never even heard about this perfume until Jasmine Bullard was talking about this one. I I love her channel. I love her fragrance combos. And she was pairing this with Raspberry Jam Donut, which is one of my favorites from Bath and Body Works. So when she said that, I was like, I'm gonna need this. And you guys, this one did not disappoint. It's a very like sweet, powdery, but still kind of fruity scent. It has notes of raspberry, mandarin orange, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, praline, bourbon, vanilla, and powdery notes. I'm noticing a lot of like orange blossom notes in a lot of the fragrances that I like. And to me, this just smells like powdered sugar and raspberries, but it is mixed in there with some floral notes because it does have the Bulgarian rose and also the orange blossom. But the main thing that I do smell would probably be the raspberry and the powdery note just because it really does smell like powdered sugar to me and I think that's why it pairs so well with raspberry jam donut. It just kind of elevates that scent and makes it a little bit more perfume like like a little bit more grown but still like very powdery and sweet. I also love layering Ari by Ariana Grande. I love pairing that with raspberry jam donut. That's one of my favorite combinations and I feel like this is maybe like somewhat similar to Ari. I'm surprised like no one has even like compared it to that one at all just because I think of that one as more of a raspberry and powdered sugar scent. Ari is like the sweeter version of this one, although I still think this is like a very sweet scent. I don't know, in my opinion, they're like somewhat similar, but not really dupes. I see a lot of people comparing this to Prada Candy, which I actually don't even have that one. I'm really not familiar with the scent. I'm pretty sure I've tried it in stores, but I can't remember what exactly that smells like. But regardless, this smells really good. This bottle though, I ended up just having to like store this on my dresser just because it is like so tall. So not crazy about the bottle, but I do really like the scent. All right guys, so that wraps up my little perfume haul for today. I feel like this is a very long video. I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do because I was literally sitting here for like almost an hour and a half. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little perfume haul. If you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below or by giving this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel whenever you guys do that, so I really appreciate when you do. If you guys have tried any of these new perfumes, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Or if there's any new perfumes that you have been really enjoying, definitely let me know because I am always on the lookout for new perfumes. But that is it for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next one. Bye!